it going guys welcome back to fraud on the telly in today's video we're gonna be talking about sam's new character in exu calamity see sam's new character has a secret and i think i know what it is if you watched some of our last content you'd know that i mentioned a theory that i had on sam's new character loquacious in passing well, I did a little bit more research and digging, and I think I actually might be onto something here. As always, if you enjoyed the video, learned something new, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you check out our other EXU Calamity content. Let's get into it. So last week's episode of EXU Calamity, we had a lot of real sussy moments from a lot of the cast as well as the NPCs. But none really caught me off guard more than Sam Regal's new character, Loquacious Quay for short, a couple of his lines. They were really sussy, and it got me thinking. You see, at a point in the episode, Loquacious has an argument with his ex-wife, Laren, played by Abrea Iyengard. It seems like just your classic couple bickering, but at the end, Sam gets really real on us. He says, you have no idea the secrets I've kept for you. Brennan then asks Sam to roll a deception check. Now, there's nothing abnormal about this yet, obviously. Obviously, characters have secrets. Sam loves to keep secrets as backstory of character. But see, here's the thing. This is where it started getting weird. You see, Brennan has the paladin Xerxes role insight. Now, at first, I thought this might have been a passive insight type role, but actually, I think it's something more specific than that. You see, if it was passive insight, it would most likely be Travis's character, Sarah, that would roll it, seeing as that's his whole thing. He also has a ring of truth or something on him that literally can detect lies. So then why Xerxes? Well, see, that all has to do with our theory. You see, I think Sam's character, Loquacious, is covering up what happened to Xerxes' husband, Evan. Evandrin, the former first knight of Avalir. As we know so far, Evandrin mysteriously went missing. Something happened to him where his body just suddenly disintegrated, disappeared, faded away. In Xerxes' dream, at the beginning of episode one of EXU Calamity, we see Asmodeus open their hand and then a tree resides inside. Evandrin spectrally appears and we get this scene where the petals hit him and he suddenly vanishes away. Well, something else happened in episode two of EXU Calamity that was quite similar to this. You see, Laren has developed a machine that will allow her to transport the city of Avalir to another plane. She runs a test run in the episode. She has this small little buoy device that she uses as a test run. You see, the way that this thing disappeared and transported to another plane seems very oddly similar to the description Brennan used to describe Evandrin's disappearance. As well, later on in episode two, the party split up. Sam and Travis's characters heading to the Herald's Tome, the place in which Sam's character works. Remember, Sam's character runs the news network, the Herald's Tome, in the city of Avalir. While they're there, Sarah makes a strange discovery. You see, they're looking through the filing cabinet of a specific reporter. In that cabinet, there is a file labeled Evandrin, but it's mysteriously missing. Also, the reporter no longer works at the Herald's Tome. Sam's character is quite dodgy on this. He rolls like a 30 plus deception. So there's literally no way that Travis's character can find out. But you see, I think that something is linked here. Very much seems that Sam's character's Quay has information about Evandrin and Evandrin's disappearance. We know that Laren and Evandrin were close friends. It doesn't seem like Laren knows that she possibly was responsible for the disappearing of this knight. It doesn't seem like that's what adds up here. But when Sam says, you have no idea the secrets I've been keeping for you, and then all of a sudden there's this missing disappearance of Evandrin's folder, there seems to be some kind of linkage there. We also know that Laren works very closely to the Tree of Names inside of the Arboreal Calyx. This tree is the tree we see in Xerxes' dream. We know it has some intrinsic magical powers. It's very important. We don't know what it does yet. It seems to have some kind of inherent link to the Raven Queen and her ascendance, though. Well, when Laren does her experiment, the Arboreal Calyx sucks a large amount of power, almost as if it's trying to stop her from transporting something to another plane or something of that nature. It's kind of hard to understand at this point. Still, it doesn't add up. I feel like I'm really onto something here. Sam's character is obviously hiding something about Evandrin. He had the reporter fired that did the research on Evandrin. As well, he seems to have disposed of the evidence that she has collected. Also, there's a chance that Evandrin isn't even dead. If my logic holds that the description of the little buoy that disappeared to another plane is kind of the same as the fading of Evandrin and his physical body, then one would come to think that he might just be residing in another plane. Asmodeus even says he must be a good man because he does not reside in my realm. So if he's dead, he's not in the hells, which would lead me to believe that he's possibly just not dead. I'm sure we'll find out much more in the next coming episodes, but what was originally a, just a random thought theory that I had off the top of my head, once I started thinking about it and rewatching some of the episode, 
seem to become even more obvious. Now, obvious theories generally don't come true, but Brennan so far has been really good about leaving breadcrumbs for things like this, so I think we're on to something here, guys. So a quick recap, my theory here is that Laren is possibly partially responsible for the death or disappearance of Evandrin, the former knight of Avalir and Xerxes' husband. It seems that possibly one of Lucatius reporters stumbled upon some kind of information regarding Laren and Evandrin and possibly what Laren has been working on, something possibly that would increment Laren in his disappearance. Loquacious then possibly had her fired and destroyed the evidence to protect her. If this is true, it seems that Laren doesn't realize or know that possibly she was responsible for Evandrin's disappearance. A little bit more evidence for this is Asmodeus telling Xerxes that he is being lied to. Now I wonder who would be lying to him. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think of my theory? Do you think we're on the right track here? What do you think happened to Evandrin and what is Sam's character hiding? So if you enjoyed the video or learned something new, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Go check out some of our Critical Role and EXU Calamity content, like our post-episode reactions to the craziness that happened in last week's show. As always, guys, I hope to see you in the next one. Stay safe out there. Peace, love, adieu.